Hello and welcome. My name is Ernest Johnson and I am most fortunate to be one of the members of the Cultural Connection Collective who put this event together. The Tyler Perry's For Colored Girls movie critique from the female perspective. Considering we're continuing the conversation this upcoming Saturday, January 22nd at 3.30 from 5.30, located at 400 West 71st Street. One other detail about this upcoming discussion is that it will be from the male perspective. And because we had such a brilliant conversation throughout the ladies critique, I thought it would be great to at least share a few frames from that discussion just to give you a little taste of the quality of conversations that are taking place in areas like Inglewood. I actually have two clips, and the first of the two is a clip where the panelist, a Chicago high school administrator, is asked in what ways could this movie for colored girls serve as a tool? Take it in and enjoy. Um, particularly my girls um, who struggle with and you see it in high schools now more and more domestic situations where they equate abuse with love. Um, they rape, I mean, all of these themes are just so relevant because I see it a lot at the high school level with my girls. With so much media attention and the images that women, that they see with women in, in B, on BET, MTV and you know just that whole dynamic as as an administrator as a high school administrator one of the things you battle with is changing the mindset about even in the hallway no he can't play with you and put his hands around your neck that's not okay that's not playing um, I mean it, it gets that deep so using that as a way to inform and educate and begin to open a dialogue with young girls about What's, what's acceptable? How should you be treated as a young lady? Is a use that's kind of unorthodox, but I think because there's so much buzz around the film, they could relate to it and identify with it. Are there any comments? In Definitely, those of us who have seen the movie should be answering the same question. Um, you know, being able to think about and imagine some positive ways in which we can put this movie to work. I mean, whether or not we agree with it or, or not, you know, because it's one of our movies, you know, so we, we have to decide to whether, you know, to give this movie power or not to give this movie power. And a lot of people have mentioned that, you know, well, everybody doesn't go into the movie thinking the way we think. Well, you're right, because see, we're the leaders, right? We're responsible for our brothers and our sisters. So we have to be, don't even get me started. I, I, I'll go on. But anyway, um, from the discussion, <laughs> we found that many uh, of the participants didn't agree, and, and not necessarily, we're not exclusively talking about the panelists, but participants in the conversation didn't agree with the characterization of uh, black males. Uh, but hear what this one panelist had to say about uh, his portrayal of males from her perspective. Um, I think sometimes when we we look at a film like this one, we I think the same criticism was made about um, the color purple, the movie about male bashing, and um, and we took film. And that yeah. absolutely, <laughs> precious. Precious, precious, yes. Yeah, and I think what happens is I think one of the reasons why we do that is because I think it's pointing to a bigger problem that you know. There's a bigger problem that we aren't re represented well in films. I mean, there, thank God for Tyler Perry in that he's he owns a studio now. Because before it was in the hands of Hollywood, and they had very much control over our image. And I mean, there are people right now in glass rooms making decisions about what we will see and what we won't see. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we're a lot more balanced than we're not one note, you know, we are three-dimensional people. So while Tyler Perry will make some type of film about women, there should be more black directors making, you know, making stories about black men and about the black family and about, we're not represented well in media. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why when a black film finally comes out, mm -hmm. you right. know, we're just making it 
we want to make it a be all end all. Uh, this is all the black people. This is what we are because we're so we haven't seen it. So we haven't seen ourselves represented. And, I mean, it's a sad reality. So as you can see, we definitely had a very interesting conversation. Uh, there's a lot of lot of great input. I wish you could have been there to to witness it in person and and more of what we were able to uh, really hammer out. But at any rate, uh, really looking forward to the gentleman uh, coming up, uh, being all male panel, being this Saturday, January twenty second, from three thirty to five thirty, located at four hundred West. 71st Street, Emmett Till Road at the Knowledge Center, the cultural connection. Uh, we most definitely look forward to seeing you in the place. Have your ace in the place is the motto. Come and share, you know, come and add your input. More importantly, come and be understood. Come to understand because there is such a quality of power that comes with understanding and being understood. So most definitely, if you're not there, we wish you all well. And uh, absolutely, we wish peace to you in all of your affairs and with your family and in all that you do. Peace.